Hello guys, welcome back to Hooper Whisper. Today I realized we hit 40 subscribers. And as you know, in celebration, I just, I, as I promised, we're gonna make an origami fur version too. So with this fur, I worked very hard on designing. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So this fur version too is actually um, gonna be pretty, I think you're gonna like it, but just as I said in the last video, at slash live stream, feel free to go check out my Etsy shop for origami paper, like this. Okay, so, you're gonna start white side up, if you want, actually no, yes, you're gonna start white side up, you want white fur, it doesn't really matter, actually, you can do it either way, so, it doesn't matter which side you start up on, as long as you follow directions afterwards, and you're gonna make a 32 by 32 grid, at least for this part we're doing. I'll be using a, a nine inch by nine inch sheet of um, Kami, or like nine and a half inch, but yeah, that's okay. I don't remember making your squares decently small. It makes it look a lot more realistic. By the way, comment down below if you want to see more threat live streams in the future. I think you'll like them. Try to stay on top of things. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys for helping my channel grow. I'm working very hard on these videos, as you probably can tell, and these designs. So now we have our grid, I believe, yeah. Now I'm gonna make orangish brown, more like orange fur, but basically what you're gonna do is you can pretty much make this out of any size grid. I just use the 30 by 30 grid because it's my paper the best. It suits my paper the best. So basically what you're gonna do, this takes some math. It will warn you, so if you don't like the math, I wouldn't recommend this model, even though it's not that hard. So what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna divide the number of lines in each direction by um, by the way, I always want to do an even number grid. So, I said 32 by 32. You're gonna divide each. Um, you're gonna divide the number of line of um part grid, the number, the type of grid, that number, by uh, for example, 64 division grid. It would be you divide that by six, and you would get six. Sorry, ten. The end with a remainder of four. You don't want to do any extra division. Just find your remainder. Now, I'll give you three seconds to do that. If you want, you need more pause the video. Okay, so 32 divided by 3 is 10 to the remainder of 2. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the remainder by 2, which is why you need an even grid. If you don't have a remainder, perfect. And basically, that number is how many squares you're going to have extra on each side. So, I'm, so basically, you're going to make a crimp or a pleat or whatever. Now, this is going to be a lot a bit of a longer tutorial from what I know. I could be wrong. Just from perspective, my last first tutorial she would look short compared to this from what I know. I'm kidding. It's going to be a lot shorter than my last first tutorial. So, it's not going to be that long. But, yeah. Make sure to stick around to see the, the finished product. Or just fast forward the video. Tiny one. <laughs> okay, so. Anyways. So, we basically ended the same thing we did with the, um, with the, um, pop it. So, we basically make a line on, we basically make a line on each side, a pleat on each side, and as you see, since there's, since 32 has a range or two gets divided by one, we have one extra grid split, the extra grid division, line or whatever, you get the point. And you'll see why that's gonna work later, because each, each of these, each of these, is takes up six grid lines or squares or whatever. 36 total grid squares. You get the point, hopefully. So 
and keep doing that all the way across. Thank you to whoever subscribed and was watching the live stream. I may not know you, but I think I know most of you who are watching it because you told me. But basically, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be, I be, if you liked it, um, or whether you liked it or not, I'll probably do these doing more in the future. So yeah, thank you so much for supporting me in my first year of YouTube. That was really fun for me, and hopefully I'll be, and I'll be hopefully doing this for a while. So I go to college in like I don't know six years or so, a bit less, a bit less than six years, which hopefully I'll still keep up with it. But you get the point. However it ends up, it should be fine. I mean, it should be fine. So now, we're gonna repeat in the other direction. Which should be a bit easier. I don't know why, it just seems easier for me. Now that you have it a bit more lined up, you should be able to make squares quite easily. By the way, since we huge benchmark, once we hit 50 subscribers, I'll be making a full, uh, realistic, not too realistic, but somewhat realistic cactus tutorial, cactus tutorial. So, hope you enjoyed that. So now, keep going. And the texture's gonna look a bit weird at first, but that's what there is, I guess, kinda. together. And my job has been wrong, honestly. Something doesn't seem right, but it's weird. Anyways, it's not the point. Looks, it can look good in the end, you know? That's what matters to me. And as long as you're having fun, you know? That's what really matters to me the most. That you're enjoying my tutorials and making a difference, hopefully. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do, time to zoom in. Let me figure out, let me change the camera angle real quick. Maybe I'll just change it in general. I 
that should be good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold, we're gonna basically open the first one, the first row up. Sorry if this tutorial isn't perfect, I'm still working on recording with my new Chromebook, so. I'm still learning. I'm still in the learning process. So I'd recommend keeping it up like the poppet for now. And we'll flatten it. Actually, no, flatten it now. So we're going to basically create the square base from there. And once you go on all foot corners, it should flatten down. Now repeat on all 25 of them. There should be 25 total. So repeat on the 24 rest. The rest, all well, there are 24 of them. You know what I mean. I'm just playing around the camera a bit. Oh well. Now, please stick with me. I know it's going to be a bit boring, but it will look amazing in the end. Trust me. the last one in this row. <clears throat> Now, like I said, this is a pretty simple model, but it takes a lot of patience because it's super, super long and it's, and more like, what's it called? What's the word? Um, it's very, um, let's 
to you with the word. One sec. Boring and hard. Not hard, but it's more like boring. It's hard because it's boring. Does anyone know what that word is? Oh, it's bringing me nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's taking so long, I'm only going to show you one row, but I will, for, if you want me to show you the whole thing, feel free to tell me down in the comments, and if once I have more time and I'm on my hands, like on the weekend or something, I'll be happy to um, show you a full tutorial. You a full tutorial, not E. Ugh, sorry. As soon as I misspeak. As everyone does, right? Now. Here comes step number two, or should I say four, I guess. Yeah, so you, let me count. One sec, you make your grid, you do the previous, and this is step number three. Wait, no, four. Yeah, four. This is step number four. Okay, so now, what you're gonna do, let me zoom in as much as I can, the best I can. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create We're gonna make a petal fold right over here on each of the square bases. It's not even perfect petal fold, it's still gonna look the same. So just kind of pinch it together, making a petal fold. This is really optional, it just makes it look a bit more realistic, the fur. I do that on all 20 of them, I believe. Yes, yeah, 20 of them. Now, like I said in all my videos, unlike some people have been doing, please reference me using one models, even in a model or if it, part of your model, please reference me in all your videos if you are using one models or part of my models. So my one my squish my squish and spin recently got plagiarized, so please, please, please help, please not help um please 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 give me some referencing i know not a very popular channel so it makes it even worse if popular channels are copying me and taking advantage of me it's really frustrating so thank you for letting me say that message and youtube won't let me copyright claim them so it didn't seem to work they're smart enough All the pet folds, which I'll show you what to do next. But here's the fun, which is the fun part. Shaping. Yay! So, it may not look like fur right now, but you're about to see what turns it into fur. So, just so you know, you whatever you do, do not use nephilim. So, we'll give it a, or any type of glue to shape it. Do not use it. Not only will it not be true or, or pure origami, but also it will um, give it a bad look and it will look at, make it look worse. So, let's do this. So, what we're going to do... Oops, one sec. What we're going to do is we're going to fold... Is we're going to pull the corners towards the middle. All four of them. And make a reverse fold. So, basically, pull them towards the middle and we reverse fold in between two corners making them stick up, and then pinch them really tight, turning them into a follicle of fur. I think it's follicles, it could be wrong hair or whatever. Not follicles, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, so, now, once you pinch them, it should be sticking up, kind of like a cactus. Which, I won't do the whole thing for the cactus, but... Of course, we're gonna repeat over here. Basically, you're pinching it just like this, turning it into a hair. 
that's part of the fur. Now, like I said, I'm not sure I said this. I could have. I don't know. But the point is, I want to say this: that if the more the the smaller the fur is, and, the, and of course you have to have good friend motor skills, but the better the smaller your fur is, the more realistic it's going to look. Of course, nothing's too re nothing's truly realistic about origami because it's just two colors at maximum. But I'm trying to change that. And if once we hit no, not hit. Um, but eventually I'll be coming out with a bunch of hit hits, hopefully. With um, where I'll be making hyper realistic origami, and hopefully you like hope you like them because they'll be coming out soon. So make sure to like and subscribe to see it more more to, and turn on notifications to see them. So now we're gonna do them in between, in between the two platforms, as let's call them, the two. Two by two, two, two by two, two grid squares. Basically, we want to make it as packed as possible. If you have free, more creative ways of get, it's basically like this, you're gonna open it up between and just pinch it. But basically, just try your best, and if you have many more ways of getting as much fur or as many hairs as possible, tell me down in the comments, and I'll try to include it into the video. If you're wondering why the Kami is so strong, I can tell you. And yes, they're and no, they're not sponsored. I just really like this brand. It's Toyo, Toyo Corgan paper. They have really good stuff. So if you go check them out on Amazon. But the point is, we're gonna now, now here's the fun part: flattening it, which we don't need to, but I'd like to because it looks a bit better. Oops, Roro. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna fold them all down. And now all we have to do is the fun part, which is scrunching it up. And there we go. If you look at it from an a, from far away, it kind of looks like fur. So I hope you had a have, are having a great day and you enjoyed the tutorial. Have oh, thank you so much for more subscribers. And remember, we're getting a, a, a origami cactus full tutorial at 50. Bye.